go to the gym. About to hit a nice little chest day. I think we're going for a max work up. The, I don't even know what else we're gonna do, but let's get to it. Yes, I'm in the zone. If I see her, then I got a bro. Yes, I am a dog with these diamonds on my collar, and that's why I got your girl head banging. So they calling me Nirvana. Yeah. No, I'm not her daddy, but she calling me her papa. Tell me, is you down, girl? I swear I treat you right, yeah. While they sleeping up on me, yeah. but when I see them, it's on sight. Uh, even in the summer, dawn, my neck be frozen ice. Uh, I swear I go hard, bet you I'll get that. Dog, I got no heart, bro, like a Kit Kat. I've been up all night, but I wake up for my work, though. My girl looks so good when she draped out in that fur coat. Like, yes, I'm in the Zana. If I see her, then I got a bro. Yes, I am a dog. So as you guys can see, uh, we both went for maxes on bench today. We we're gonna work up to a top set and then hit a three by five. And you know, we both got humbled by the way today. Brian was going for 185, which he's hit in the past, and I was going for 300, which I've also hit in the past. But we both failed, as you can see. But you know, sometimes that's gonna happen. Gotta eat more, get back to it. But we went for a three by five after that, which you guys will see here in a second. At moderate heavy weight, it wasn't too bad, but not gonna lie, pretty fucking frustrated, pretty freaking. We're not, we're gonna make this a family channel. You know, this is gonna be a family channel. We're not gonna cuss anymore. Yeah, we're definitely gonna cuss, but we're not gonna mean to. But pretty frustrated that I couldn't hit 300, and I know Ryan's frustrated he couldn't hit 185, but you know. We'll try again next week. Daddy, but she calling me her papa. Touchdown when I land. Dog, I need that bad to go. I just need a check. I need a couple grand for that show. I don't got no time to waste. I ain't ever moving slow. They ain't doing nothing, but somehow they do the most. Uh, they want my soul, dog, so I can't sign no deal. I barely sip, dog, and I don't pop no pills. I got my mind clear for this work, though, and I swear that's so real. Whoa, yes, I'm in the zone. If I see her, then I got a bro. Yes, I am a dog with these diamonds on my collar. And that's why I got your girl head banging, so they calling me Nirvana. No, I'm not her daddy, but she calling me her papa. On sight, uh, even in the summer, dog, my neck be frozen ice. Uh, I swear I go hard, bet you I'll get that. Dog, I got no heart, bro, like a Kit Kat. I've been up all night, but I wake up for my work, though. My girl looks so good when she draped out in that fur coat. Like, yes, I'm in the zone. If I see her, then I got a bro. Yes, I am a dog with these diamonds on my collar, and that's why I got your girl head banging, so they calling me. All right, so we just finished up at the gym. It's bright as a muff. Yeah. You see, I almost cussed, but we didn't, Ryan. We're going family channel, by the way. Yeah. I didn't tell you, but we're not cussing anymore. I caught myself. But we finished up uh, chest day, some abs at the end. Um, besides bench, I think it went pretty well, Ryan. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, we got humbled by the weight on bench, as y'all saw. Yeah, did not hit what we wanted to hit. Failed both maxes, but you know, it is what it is. And then always end off your workout with 100 variations of some kind of leg raise. Some kind, just do a hundred of them. It's the key to a six pack. You'll have it in like two weeks. Actually, that's cap, you won't, but do those and you'll get abs. What's good, everybody? Today, we're gonna be doing a cook off. So it's gonna be me versus Ryan, and then we got our sister on the camera right now. And then, yep, and then we got Tanya in the, Tanya? Yeah. Yep, she's in the, uh, <laughs> she's in the living room. Brad's upstairs, they're gonna be judging when we finish. I'm gonna be making a pizza with some jalapenos, sugar-free barbecue sauce, pepperoni, low-fat cheese, and whatever this is. Never used this before. Brian, what'd you make? Some tilapia, a lemon, <laughs> some seasoning. Yes, yeah, sir. <laughs> All right, so I, I have some cooking background. I cook most of my meals. They're simple, but I cook most of my meals. So I'm feeling pretty confident that I'm gonna cook something good. Most complex thing I've ever made, cereal and French toast, baby. Yes, sir. <laughs> <laughs> but you went to Kroger and bought fish and a lemon. 
There's five dollars to not too. It's that gourmet stuff, bro. <laughs> All right. Okay, let's get to it. All right, we're off to a flying start here. And how are you doing this? <laughs> Is it not like a bag? <laughs> Ryan, over here, Ryan, you need a plate for it to, before you take it out. <laughs> like the middle thing. Ryan, that's not on. <laughs> I'll turn it on. What the? Oh. <laughs> nah, I'm not betting. I would go all in on he burns the house down. Thanks, slippery's out. <laughs> Oh, you're the one who messed it up, John. No, I didn't. Yeah? Because he doesn't. Pre. Yeah, no, it's, it's heating now. Yeah, no, we're chilling. As I was saying, if this house is still standing after this challenge, <laughs> W. <laughs> Ryan, you need to watch your fish. Tupperica. <laughs> what did you call it? Tupperica. <laughs> Tupperica. Tupperica? Are you filming? Yep. <laughs> okay, so we got both our judges here, my mother as well as my sister. And we are going to be judging on first presentation, then smell, then taste. Can I get first thoughts? It smells really bad. Actually, I'm very proud of my young boys. <laughs> I don't think, I think that it could have been a lot better. I think that they both, I think Ryan did not pick a good food to make. I think that he will probably get sick after it. Yeah. He also, notice how John made two things, where Ryan only made one for us to share and for Ryan to eat after we eat it. So. You know, that, so, I'd say that's fair enough. Mom, you had words. Well, um, it is nice for presentation that you had separate pizza, one for her and one for me, but I will say this is a little too much pizza for me, but overall presentation, um, you know, this pepperoni pizza looks very nice. Um, can we also point out how he's spinach as a garnish? <laughs> like leaves of that. spinach. Well, but I do like that he did and put the, in some different colors. He added some lemon. different colors. I don't know so, how he cut it, but bad. it's like cut in half if you can see that. Alright, let's see if we can get that to focus <laughs> on his lemon. Alright, so what are we giving the pizza presentation wise out of 10? I'm gonna give him an eight out of 10. All right, Megan? I was gonna say seven. All right, so pizza has banked a 15 in round one. What about mm -hmm. yeah. fish? I'm gonna give it a six, cause it's <laughs> lemon, it's a little fuller, and the spinach could have been a little livelier looking, I guess. Megan? Um. Also know the back of it, like, it's not really seasoned, but I don't know, I kind of, I think that the spinach is kind of funny, so I'm gonna give it a seven too. 
All right, so that's a seven and a six. Yeah. So you've banked 13. a 13. Oh, quick maths. Oh, smell. This does not smell good. Well, you know, it, it, I like the smell of pizza. Not jalapenos. But the jalapenos. And barbecue smells. sauce. Mmm. You put, like, I'm just going to be frank, you put three very, or even four because the bread, four very different smelling things together, and they kind of clash. Mm. But, I mean. So, out of ten, what are we saying for the pizza, smell-wise? I'm going to go with a five. I would say, I would say five, too. Oh, we've only banked a ten. <laughs> oh, oh, no. But it is... <laughs> Oh, don't smell it. Don't smell it. <laughs> Why'd you smell it like that? It's really not that too no, bad. It me. Um, but I'm going to say it's a little easier for me to stomach the smell of that, so I'm going to give it a six. I like the lemons. <laughs> so, like, I can smell that. The fish itself does not smell good, but since you put lemons on there, I would say six. So, five, 12. Or five, five. Right. So, he's at 11. Yeah, so Plus you got what a 13 in the first round. Oh, all right now on to the I think the biggest test here. Yeah taste. Ryan how, how confident are you in your taste here? Oh, no doubt. I'm dubbing. I'm you're dubbing. Ready. You think you're ready? All right, so this is this one first you're going with the pizza first. The bread is actually cooked really well. I don't know. Oh, crazy I, I only got bread on that one so don't ask my opinion right now. Mm. Rich. Boy. Mm. Thoughts, thoughts. Cook, I like the texture of the bread. I like the crunch, so. A good, not too done, but done enough. Um, I didn't get as much of the barbecue taste in that bite. So I think had the barbecue sauce been spread a little more fully around to the edges of the pizza that's fair fair no but i purposely am not trying to jalapeno i don't i'm not a big meat person so i don't really care for pepperoni but the jalapeno was good i didn't really taste any cheese or yeah i think and like she said it there could have been more barbecue sauce but i like the jalapeno with the barbecue the bread's good like the edges are a little bit like hard but um so out of 10, we're sitting on a 25, Ryan. Um, overall taste for me, again, I have to take aside the fact that I don't care for jalapenos. So I'm going to give it a 7. 7. I take that. Megan? Um, I mean, I ate a couple bites of it, so like I'd give it an 8, 9, 8, yeah. An 8? Okay, so that's 15. So I'm sitting on 40. Do we need a calculator out Make sure this is right. Oh, it's right. All right. I took college okay. algebra. <laughs> it's my dinner. <laughs> All right. I'm going to get a piece of the spinach in here because it's healthy. Good for us. It's I not what it's meant for, but okay. Okay. If it's on the plate, you're supposed to eat it. Right? No, nah, it's strict right. for visual. Um, come on. I don't know how to squeeze this. Your lemon's also had freaking... Whatever in it. She doesn't like fish. Keep that yeah. in mind. Right here. It's got a little. Sheesh! This is the chaos. <laughs> <laughs> Try to find a piece that like. Okay, so I think we know what mom thinks Ooh. about the fish. Now I will say, the fish is cooked. It's good with lemon. It's cooked. I did have in the very beginning some lemon, so I like that. But there was some heat put on this, right? So for me. That overall flavor in my mouth has my lips burning. Sorry, Ryan, I'm trying to like take so, a mini bite. So what, what are you giving it out of 10? I'm gonna have to give it a five. A five? So he's sitting on 29. It tastes like bad tuna. So what does that mean? <laughs> it's not, it doesn't like, I'm a person, and like I said, I don't really care for meat, but I eat a lot of fish. I'm a big salmon and tuna person. I don't really care for tilapia, but 
your seasoning, like that's not supposed to be on fish, straight up. Like <laughs> that was a really bad joke. <laughs> Actually, you know what I think? This could make a good fish taco. Yeah, that's what I was yeah, going for. That's some good. shredded spinach or lettuce, maybe a little tomatoes. All right, we've got our third, oh, the third sorry. judge has made wait, it wait, down. I gotta get my rating for it. I'd give it, have a seat, a five. So oh. you're at what, 34? Yeah. I thought that he got 25. And I'm at 40? I'm down. 35 to 40. So, so, that's a dub for me, you know. Some yeah. light. Some uh, real light. Ryan, what you got to say? Uh, dead. Oh, it's coming down to dead. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So, pizza's mine. Okay. And Ryan's is... First, you have to rate their pres like, presentation. Presentation. What would you give it out of 10? Us oh. Notice the speed. He didn't get the speed. Yeah. Oh, I, I didn't get the full effect before it was eaten. So. Yeah. It's kind of the full effect. Like this kind of looked the same as it does right now. That's what the pizza We'll do like. eight. For both? For both? Why not? Oh. Okay, so we're even up for presentation. So you're at 48, I'm at 42. Okay, smell wise, what what you giving them? On the same scale? Yeah. Yeah, out of 10, smell. What are we saying? Well, if I don't like jalapeno smell, then that's a problem. That, right? that was our thing. We didn't like the smell. With the fish? Time. Uh, I mean, to me, they're they're both okay. You don't have to give them the same. No, I'll, I'll give them sevens. Sevens. All right, so we're both sitting on fifteen here, and now we need the the taste test. Do I got to taste both of them? Yeah. yeah. Take a small bite. And he he likes fish. He likes pizza. He can do spice. What kind of fish is it? Tilapia. I said it tastes like bad tuna. Hey, man. That's not mean. <laughs> What's the, is it just grilled or browned or what? Uh, you want to speak on that, Chef? Cayenne pepper and paprika. He asked if it was grilled. <laughs> he did it on this. So how is it? Kill it. Um, I thought it was good. I'll do, I'll do a, I'll do an eight. Huh? Wow. There you go, bud. Chef Ryan. Yes, sir. You know me. You might have a so, so now I need to eat the pizza. Yeah. yeah. Do I have to eat a jalapeno? You don't have to. It's up to you. Oh, go for it, Dad. The suspense. <laughs> mm, it was good. Oh yeah, that's what we like to hear. I'll take an eight. So we both get on death scale. We both get the exact same score. Yeah. So I lost by six. Yeah. Final thoughts. What did you lose on? Uh, Taste. Ryan. Taste final thoughts on the L here. Man. Took a fat L. But well, I'm bouncing back. Like I'm bouncing back. More than Cook challenge number two coming up. We got a champion. Oh, yeah. he's gonna take another bite of the fish. Oh, he's going in for two on the fish. Yeah. I'm, 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 That's I'm, my dinner. <laughs> Right, so we're gonna try, Ryan. The inside loves, You know, it's already been determined. <laughs> I was the champion for this challenge. So, I, I'm not expecting too much here. He was asked if the fish was uh, grilled or blackened, and he said, uh, cayenne pepper. <laughs> <laughs> so, I'm not expecting too much, but I'll take, a, I'll take a sizable bite here. Careful, it's his dinner. I know, that's why I was gonna go bigger, but. <clears throat> I've, I've had better fish in my day. You're being we, kind. We, I'm going to keep this moderately kind. We've had better fish. But you know, it's edible. And at the end of the day, that's all you can ask for. Really. Right. So, I give it a six. <laughs> for, for edibility, I'll give it a six. For the actual taste of the fish, I'm going to be thrilled to probably around a three. But you know, I've gone for three bites, so it can't be that bad. It's low key gas. Low key gas. Low key busting. Barbecue sauce hidden. Jalapeno's not too hot. It's kind of nice. Man, I'll give it a. I'll give it like a seven. All right, guys. So that was. Cook challenge number one that you're gonna see on the channel. Ryan is currently uh, 
Ryan, what you doing here? That bit hot. I need some milk. <laughs> <laughs> Ryan's was a little spicy, but I took the dub in challenge number one. Comment down below what you want to see us do next, what kind of challenge, whether it be a food challenge, a gym challenge, a sports challenge, a sibling challenge, a quiz, whatever it be. But drop a like, drop a comment, hit that subscribe button, and we're out. Yes, sir. Peace. Follow me on Instagram. <laughs>